Hello everybody and welcome back to another Oscar prediction video where today we will be taking a look at the category of best animated feature. So this is the penultimate uh, episode of this uh, series uh, because we're going to do best picture right after this. Now animated feature, I, I'm sure some of you are wondering why I saved this one to do so late because a lot of people would probably say this one has a pretty easy front runner. But I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think, first of all, this is one of the strongest lineups we've ever seen in this category, certainly when it's a category of five. And I think all five of these nominations are great films and would be worthy winners. And that makes it harder to choose what's going to win. I think they all make a case for themselves. And I really do think that this race is more competitive than a lot of people are giving it credit for. So I want to take a moment to acknowledge these really great movies and why I think this race, uh, while it might seem obvious from the outset, my predicted winner might surprise you. Fifth most likely to win is Raya and the Last Dragon. So this movie had an interesting release because it came out at the very, very beginning of March in 2021, which was the beginning of the eligibility release window. What that means is that this was like the first thing that voters saw. Most voters saw it before voting on last year's Oscars. And while I quite enjoyed the film when I saw it, I haven't really felt the need to go back and watch it again, even though I did think it was very good. And so I remember there was this question throughout the year of, are people even going to remember this movie when it comes time to vote on the Oscars? Uh, are people just going to forget about it? Uh, once we got to the televised awards and it started getting all the major nominations, that put a lot of concerns at ease. People were like, oh yeah, it's definitely going to get the nomination. And it did get the nomination. And in terms of can it win, I really don't think it can, even though it is a very good movie and it does have a very... Uh, timely and potent message, which could help it. I think, uh, first of all, some have complained that um, its messaging is too on the nose, and some have complained that uh, the world building is too much for a movie and it would have been more fitting for a series. Um, but the main thing with this movie is, again, it just came out so early, and the other four movies we're going to be talking about came out later and generated more hype when they came out. And so I don't know how many people are even talking about this movie. Even though it has gotten some significant nominations, uh, I don't think it's won anything major. I believe this movie even swept nominations at the Annie Awards, but didn't win a single one. And that, to me, is telling. I think that people like this movie, uh, not enough to want to vote for it. Although, I will say, the way this wins is in an Ex Machina-style situation, where the other four all make really strong cases for themselves, and number five just comes up from behind and takes the whole thing, like we saw with Ex Machina and Visual Effects. Which I'm not going to say that that's an impossible situation, but it's definitely an unlikely one. Um, but that's the only way Raya could pull off a win. But keep in mind, though, the top four are very, very competitive. Starting with fourth most likely to win, Flea. Okay, so a lot of people have this higher, and I do get it, because based on pure quality alone, Flea should win. On pure quality, Flea should win all three of the awards it's nominated for, because it is, it is an outstanding piece of art. Um, but I think of the three categories it's nominated for, this is the one where it has the weakest chance, because it is so unlike everything else that's in the category, and also everything else that has previously won this category. They've only given it to a hand-drawn film once, and that was Spirited Away. And also, the animation style of this movie... Here's the thing. The category is called Best Animated Feature, and a reasonable interpretation of that is the feature that is the best animated. And Flea, for as incredible a movie and as incredible an experience as it is, I have heard complaints about the actual animation style, which is very basic and somewhat choppy, and compared to the uh, very refined CG animation of the other four nominees, 
that could really hurt it in this category. I do think it being as as good of a movie as it is can give it a leg up here, but I feel like it's going to give it a leg up in documentary more than anything else because it's such an innovative type of documentary. But I don't think it's winning here. It's just, it's too adult. And even if you look at what's won the majority of critics' awards, most critics are not going with Flea in animated. Some of them are going with Flea in documentary, but not in animated. And I think the makers of that movie are, are really pushing it for documentary more than anything else. So as incredible as the film is and as worthy a winner as it would make it, I really hope it gets to win one Oscar on the night. And, But if it does win an Oscar on the night, it would be for documentary. I don't think it has the support in this category. I think they want to go with some lighter, family-friendly fare. A lot of people associate this category with best children's movie, which is not entirely the case, but they've never given it to something that is this much for adults. So for that reason, I don't think Flea could win, although it does have a lot of support, and I guess it's not impossible. Third most likely to win is Luca. Oh boy. Pixar. I can't believe I've, I'm seeing the day where Pixar is the underdog in an animated feature race. You realize Pixar has been nominated... I, I, I wouldn't have the exact number, but if you look at the amount of times Pixar has been nominated in this category and then lost, it's four. They were nominated and were lost four times, and one of them, Onward, lost to a different Pixar movie. Pixar has a stronghold on this category, and yet Luca is number three. And I've seen some people put it four. People will say that Flea is more likely to win. And yet Luca, first of all, is a great movie. I think it's really, really well done. And a lot of people are fans of this movie, particularly fans of the queer community, that uh, feel represented by the movie's not-so-subtle metaphor. And I do think that part of the Disney Say Gay campaign that's going on right now could help it. Uh, and something else that could help it that I haven't seen anybody talking out, no one's talking about this, but Turning Red just came out, and Turning Red has gotten some really great reviews, and that movie came out exactly when voting was going on. And so... If Oscar voters need an incentive to vote for Pixar, then they have one. Uh, hey, Pixar is doing great work right now, and we have to wait a whole year before we can give Turning Red some awards, although the fact that it, that movie came out so early probably won't help it either. I feel like Luca... A lot of people say it doesn't have any chance to win because it hasn't won anything major in the precursors, and I get that. But there is a part of me that's been feeling it's really not impossible. I feel like a lot of voters might name check Pixar just because it's Pixar and they like Pixar and also Turning Red came out and it's great. And also the movie's really good. Like this would make a better winner than Soul or Toy Story 4 in my opinion. So I think it's absolutely insane what's happening to Pixar. It's, it's worth a whole other video to talk about the point in, in Pixar's where Pixar is as a studio right now, with Luca and Turning Red going in different directions uh, narrative-wise, but that's worth a whole other video. What I will say, though, is don't count out Luca, even though it hasn't won anything major. And honestly, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. The two are, top two are competitive. Luca, I, all I'm saying is don't count it out. Second most likely to win is Encanto. And if you uh, are paying attention, you already know what's what I'm doing. Yes, I'm predicting an upset in this category because Encanto, it is the front runner. I can't deny that it is the front runner because it won Golden Globe and BAFTA and PGA. So it has all the important things that it needs to win the Oscar. Also, it has two other nominations. It's nominated for score, and it's nominated for song. And it's only happened three other times that an animated movie with additional nominations outside of animated feature lost to an animated feature that had no other nominations. Uh, 
We saw it when Happy Feet beat Cars. We saw it when Zootopia beat Moana and Kubo and the Two Strings. And then we saw it when Spider-Verse beat Isle of Dogs. So it does happen. But having that additional nomination, the, the two additional nominations, does help. People do really like this movie. I, I don't know if the buzz is kind of dying down, but for a moment it was absolutely everywhere. And we did see it rack up some significant wins. I think people love the soundtrack more than anything else. Although the themes of family and the generational trauma is important, although again, also done very, very well in Turning Red, I really hope that wins some stuff next year, but I, I can't get too sidetracked with that. I get why this is the obvious frontrunner. Also, it's Disney, and if they're not going to give it to Pixar, then they're going to give it to Disney, surely. Disney's just a part of that big conglomerate powerhouse. And yet... Disney is also in a little bit of trouble at the moment with the uh, don't say gay stuff that's going around and a lot of controversy from Disney and from the, the workers at Disney who are walking out and that's all over the news. And I'm sorry, but you've got to predict an upset in a couple of categories and the more I've thought about it, the more I feel like this is the category to predict an upset in. Even if Encanto on paper is really loved and has everything it needs to win, the movie that I am predicting number one most likely to win the Oscar is The Mitchells vs. The Machines. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've actually been predicting Mitchells vs. Machines to win animated feature for some time now. If you go back to like my initial predictions for a while, Ever since this movie premiered, it has had an insane amount of hype surrounding it. And the hype has not gone away. With some movies, like, they come out early and then after a while people stop talking about them. But Mitchell's, even though it was an early release, people kept talking about it. I remember seeing an article when Mitchell's first came out that said, do we have our first contender for animated feature this year? And that really threw me for a loop because Riot and the Last Dragon had already premiered, and I was like, wait, are people already forgetting that that movie exists, even though it's going to get nominated? And it did. But people fell in love with Mitchells immediately, and that love has not gone away. This movie not only won Best Animated Feature at the Annie Awards, it swept the Annie Awards. It won eight. People really respect this movie, especially in the animation community, and it won Critics' Choice. And I know that Critics' Choice usually tends to go with what the Oscar frontrunner is, but when they don't, when they go with a wild card upset pick, I think that's something to pay attention to. I think that shows where the support really lies. And I think people like Mitchells, and people are really, really rooting for Mitchells. Even though it doesn't have the additional nominations that Encanto has, and Encanto really sort of peaked at the right point for it to get those nominations, I do think that there's just so much love and so much support. And I've seen so many people on film Twitter say, oh, I know that Encanto is going to win the Oscar, but if Mitchell somehow won, that would be the most incredible thing ever. People are rooting for this movie. And here's the thing. I'm already going out on a limb by predicting Encanto to win Song, which you think would make it stronger that, that I should want to predict it to win Animated Feature 2. And yet, somehow I feel like the things everybody loves from Encanto are the songs. And if Encanto wins Song and Mitchells wins Animated Feature, that would feel like an even... It would feel fair to both movies even though it's only happened once before that two different animated movies have won competitive Oscars on the night, and that was 2001, when Shrek won animated feature and Monsters, Inc. won song. So it has happened before, but only once. Statistics would say it's unlikely, but if there's ever a year to defy statistics, it's this year, because look at what's happening in the Best Picture race. And sometimes you just gotta follow the passion and people are passionate about this movie. Oh, and get this, the main character of Mitchells vs. Machines wants to be a filmmaker, 
and talks openly about how special the movies are. That goes a long way when it comes to your movie winning an Oscar. And so for all of those reasons, I am going out on a limb and predicting the Mitchells vs. Machines to upset an animated feature, even though Encanto is the safe choice. But sometimes you gotta live a little bit dangerously. And I see the passion, I see the love. I think we're gonna see Mitchells win an Oscar, and I think people are gonna be thrilled by it. So that is my prediction. Thank you very much for watching, and be sure to tune in tomorrow, uh, just before the Oscars, where I take a look at the final category, Best Picture of the Year. We're almost done. I will see you then. Bye.